In this video, I will show you how you can create an IMGDB file and how you can create an augmented image database object from that IMGDB file. An IMGDB file is nothing but a database file of images which can be created using the AR Core IMG tool. The main reason why you should be using the IMGDB file is because when you create a new augmented image database in your Android application and when you add images to that database, then that slows your application because the add image function takes some time to execute its functions. And every time your application launches, the users will have to wait for some time for, for the uh, add image function to finish executing before they can access the database. In this video, I will also show you how you can save an augmented image database object in the device's local memory and how you can later retrieve that as, uh, as an augmented image database object. Saving the images into the device's local memory becomes very useful when you have to download the images from the internet and later when you have to use those images in your augmented image project. And one more thing, you should always make calls to the add image function from a worker thread or a background thread, otherwise it will freeze your user interface. Now without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first thing that you will need to do is download the AR Core IMG tool from this GitHub page. I'll put a link to this page in the description box. Once you are on this page, click on the right operating system. I'm currently on a Mac OS. So I will click on Mac OS, then click on AR Core IMG. Once you are here, you will see the download button, click on it. The tool has been downloaded and if you are on a Mac OS, then you will have to make this AR Core IMG file executable. Open up the terminal and navigate to the folder where this file is located. Once you are in the right directory, run the command sudo chmod plus x and the name of the file which is arcoreimg. This will ask your password, type that in, press enter and now you can see the arcoreimg file has been converted into an executable. I have created a folder named images and this folder contains a photo. We will convert this folder into an image database file and a folder which is to be converted into a database file can contain at most 1000 images. So let's convert this folder into a database file. Make sure you are in the directory where the AR Core IMG tool is located. And if you are on a Mac OS, then you have to run the command dot slash AR Core IMG. And if you are on Windows, then you will have to type arcoreimg.exe instead of dot slash arcoreimg. Build hyphen db two hyphens input images directory. And then you will have to give the path of your images directory. If you are on a Mac machine, then select the folder and press alt command and C to copy the path and paste the path here. After this, put a space and then type output db path. And here we have to pass the path where we want to save the database file. So I'll be saving that on the desktop with the name imagedb.imgdb. Make sure the extension is .imgdb. Now press enter. I have incorrectly spelled output, so let me fix that. And now if I press enter, then the image database file should get created. You can see two new files have been created. One file contains the path of the images that have been added in the database. And the other one is the database file. Now we will create a new Android Studio project. It's going to be an empty activity. Make sure the API level is set to 24 and the language is going to be Java. Click on finish. We will add scene form in this project. So open up the build.gradle file and add the implementation of scene form UX. Currently 1.13.0 is the latest version available. If any newer version is available, then please use that version. We will also add Java 8 support in this. Now hit sync now. Now open the manifest file. 
and declare permission camera declare feature android dot hardware dot camera dot ar required yes and we will add some metadata name com dot google dot ar dot core value required and now we will create a new java class and we're going to name this class custom ar fragment this class is going to extend ar fragment and it will override the method get session configuration inside this method create an object of config class pass the session as a parameter to the constructor and then call config dot set update mode and set the update mode to latest camera image this will enable augmented images in our app and now call this dot get ar scene view dot setup session pass the session object as a parameter to this function and finally return the config object from this function now go to the activity main dot xml file and replace the root element with relative layout and add a fragment set width and height to match parent give this an id ar fragment and the name is going to be custom ar fragment add a text view set width and height to wrap content give this text view an id set text to text view this text view will show the text lion visible when the lion photo that we added in the database file gets detected we will give this text view a padding of 8 dp and we will set the text color to white and the background is going to be black now let's add the resources that we are going to need in this app create a new android resource directory resource type is going to be raw and copy the image db.img db file and paste that in the raw folder we will need one more image that will be putting in the drawable folder and later in the video i'll show you how you can add images into an existing augmented image database and how we can save the image database into the device's local memory and how we can later retrieve it from the device's memory so i have this photo earth.jpg i'm going to paste that in the drawable folder now go to main activity.java class and here create a function named load db this function will take an object of the session class and inside this function we will create an object of augmented image database from this image db.img db file so create an object of augmented image database class call this aid and using the static function augmented image database dot deserialize we will create the object from our img db file this function takes the session as its first parameter and the second parameter is the input stream to the image db.img db file create an object of input stream we are going to call this object db stream and using get resources dot open raw resource function we will create an input stream to that image db.img db file here we have to pass the resource id which is r dot raw dot image db now pass the db stream object as the last parameter to this function this function throws an io exception so surround it with try catch the load db function will take one more parameter and that is going to be an object of the config class and now we will add the database in our ar session by calling config dot set augmented image database and here we will pass the aid object we will need to call this load db function and we are going to do that from the custom ar fragment class before setting up the session create an object of the main activity class and refer this to the parent activity of the custom ar fragment we will need to cast this to main activity the parent activity of this custom ar fragment is always going to be main activity because we are using the custom ar fragment only in main activity and now we will call activity dot load database pass the session object as the first parameter and the config object as the second parameter now go back to main activity.java class 
and create a global object of the custom AR fragment class. Call this AR fragment. And we will need an object of the text view class. Refer the AR fragment to the AR fragment that we have in the layout. We will need to cast it to custom AR fragment. So press Alt Enter and cast it to custom AR fragment. And then have a reference to the text view. Now we will add an update listener for the AR fragments scene. So call AR fragment, get AR scene view, get scene, add on update listener, this on update. We haven't created this on update method. So press Alt Enter and create this method. Every time the scene is updated, this function will be called. And inside this function, we will detect for all the augmented images that have been tracked. So create an object of the frame class and refer this to the frame of the AR scene view. And now create a collection of augmented images. Call this images and using the frame dot get updated trackables, we will get the updated trackables for the augmented image class. Now create a for each loop for augmented image in images and inside this loop check for the condition if image dot get tracking method is tracking method dot full tracking if the image is being tracked then we will check for the condition if image dot name is equal to so when we created the database we did not pass any name for the images so what is the name that is going to be here for the detected image? Well, the name is going to be same as what was the name of the image while creating the database. So in our case, the name was lion.jpg. So here we will check for the condition if the name is lion.jpg. And remember that extension of the image does not matter. If the name was lion.123 or lion123, then the name of the image would be lion123 in the database. But the image that I passed in the database had the name lion.jpg. And when this condition is true, then we will set the text of the text view to lion is visible. Now let's see what have we got till now. If you're going to run this on the emulator, then you will have to do some extra setup. And for that, you will have to click on these three dots. Select the camera option and you will have to add the image that you added in the database in the scene. You could either put the image on the wall or on the table. I'm going to put it on the table. So click on add image and select the image that you added in the IMGDB database. Once the image gets added, what you need to do is press Alt and then press W to go forward. We need to go inside this room. You can see the image is on the table. Let's see it from a different angle so it gets detected. And you can see lion is visible gets printed in the text view. Now we will see how we can serialize an augmented image database object on the device's local storage and how we can later retrieve it from the device's storage. We will need to serialize an augmented image database object in the local storage because we cannot modify any file that is put inside these assets because whatever goes inside these folders is bundled with the APK and those files cannot be changed during the runtime. So first we will have to do some changes into the layout. Open activity main.xml and inside the layout add a button. Set width and height to wrap content. Align parent bottom will be true. Center horizontal true. Text will be serialize and ID will be serialize button. Now open android manifest.xml file and inside this we will have to add two more permissions. Use this permission write external storage and permission read external storage. Now open main activity dot Java class and inside the on create method, find the button by its ID and set the button on click listener. When the button is clicked, we will check for the condition if external storage permission is granted. 
activity compact dot check self permission context this manifest dot permission write external storage and if the permission is not granted then we will ask for the permission by calling request permissions function of the activity compact class activity this new string array manifest dot permission write external storage and the last parameter is the request code I'm gonna pass one and after asking for the permission we will return from this function and if the permission is granted then we will call the function serialize which we are going to create now so press alt enter and create this method inside this method we will create a file object we are going to save our database into this file object and the parameter this constructor expects is the path of the file which is going to be get external files directory type will be null plus slash db dot img db this name can be anything i'm gonna name it db dot img db and now we will open an output stream to this file and we will pass the file object as a parameter to the constructor of this class this throws an exception so press alt enter and surround it with try catch and replace this file not found exception with io exception now we will have to make this augmented image database object global so we can access it from the serialize function private augmented image database aid and after creating the output stream we will create an object of bitmap and we will get a reference of the earth.jpg file in this bitmap by calling bitmap factory dot decode resource pass the resources object as the first parameter and the second parameter is the id of the resource which is r dot drawable dot earth and now we will add this bitmap in the augmented image database by calling aid dot add image the name of the image is going to be earth and pass the bitmap object as the second parameter and now call aid dot serialize and we will be serializing this database in our output stream after serializing the object on the output stream close the output stream and then we will show a toast message which will say database serialized now let's run and see if the database object gets serialized click on the serialize button and grant the storage permission now click on the serialize button again and you may have noticed that the ui froze before the toast showed up this happened because this add image function takes some time to execute and we are calling this function from the main thread and therefore the ui froze so it is suggested that you make a call to this function only from a background thread otherwise your ui will freeze and your application may crash now go to the load db function and delete this line because this time we will be loading the database from the local storage and not from the raw folder so inside the try catch create a file object and the constructor requires the path of the file which is this so copy the path paste it to the constructor and then create an object of file input stream call this db stream pass the file object as a parameter to the constructor and in the on update method if the detected image is not lion.jpg then we will check for the condition if the image is earth and if that's the case then we will show the text earth visible in our text view press control r and run the application and you can see earth is visible gets printed on the text view and if i look on the lion then lion is visible gets printed on the text view